Branches. Yes. Increase, decrease. Decrease. How much? Well, in the last three years in Australia, I think when I started as CEO three years ago, we had about 760 branches. Today, we're less than 600. So it's a lot. And the reason is that people aren't using them anymore. We can't run shops when there are no customers. So this isn't a cost out strategy for us looking to close branches. This is us really reacting to our, our customers already voted with their feet and they're not coming in. Because why do you need to go to a branch anymore? What, what, what do you do in a branch that you can't do on your phone or on the, on the internet? That's a, a lot of people don't trust uh, internet banking. Oh, I think you'll be surprised, the survey says, if you will, that people do, and they vote with their feet. I mean, our number one channel for interacting with people today is smartphones. People are checking, you know, people go onto our app, our customers go onto our app at least on average, now it's an average, once a day. I went into a Commonwealth branch recently, and there were actually people there to meet me and say, where can we help and we'll point you in the right direction. Yeah, we have those too, yep. But it shows how long it was since I've been in. But it was yep. an extraordinary change in service. You yes. do that too. Yeah, we do do that. It's called concierging. We do that as well. Mm. And the idea there is to point people in the right direction. Do they really need to go and speak to a teller? Are they better off going to an ATM or do they need to speak to a specialist? Yeah, it's funny. One of, the, one of them took me outside and said, use the ATM. Yes. But in fairness, they showed me what I needed to get, which I didn't know I could get from the ATM. Yep. They did a good job. So we're down to 600 branches. How, what do you think we'll end up at in the next few years? I don't know. I mean, it's interesting globally. We're not, we're not alone in this. If you look at parts of Europe, which is not a bad model for us, branch numbers continue to fall. I don't know what the right number is there, Neil, but I would suggest that there's going to be less in the future than there are today. Does that mean jobs go? Well, it does mean jobs go, but it means that jobs change. I mean, you know, that's the nature of the system. The reality is while some jobs, and what we're doing is we're moving a lot of those people who were in branches, who are really experienced people, moving them into our um, contact centres or into our help centres for people who are in hardship. People have got, you know, serious complaints about the bank and need help. So we can find alternatives. The numbers of jobs in branches is going to diminish, though, but they'll be replaced by other things. Well, how many people would you employ at the moment? A&D, oh, we roughly. employ, so on a full-time equivalent basis, is about 38,000 people globally. About half of those are in Australia. Okay. So you know, we're talking about 18,000, 19,000. Yeah. Uh, will you still have 19,000 in a few years' time? Or overall probably you're not. Re- reduce your number? I'd say it's probably going to trend down. It's not because we've got a big program to do it. It's just the natural order of things at the moment, more automation, more online banking, less branches, you know, those things, Yeah. 